Welcome back to Vampire. When we left off, we we killed Doris Fletcher. It was a great and epic fight. Maybe we can go back. Oh come on! Should be safe now, but London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection. I still wanted to go. I still wanted to go around and then search for stuff. There was some stuff down there which I never get. Oh, damn it! And there was like a level 29 skull that I wanted to kill for XP. Now I can't. I missed it because I went the right way by accident. I did. I did not want to go the right way. I wanted to go the wrong way, so I can explore and get stuff. We got a saber though. Is it strong? Is it good? Should we use it? Huh. Yeah. Let's, let's see what's gonna... What's gonna happen if we equip that. I mean the hatchet is strong, but... Maybe the saber is strong and fast. How about that? Strong and fast. I need fast weapons. I mean, I want to be different. All the Ekans are using like some kind of sword or saber. I want to use the hatchet. I look so badass with that, you know. The vampire vampire hunter. Me dead. I need to leave now. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let me just see what you got here. 140. <sighs> How strong was this when it was... Huh. Stamina 20. Stamina 25. Attack speed is the same. Huh. So, where are we going now? So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Second opinion. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Another selection. Hi. Oh shit, I did not see you there. Okay. Alright. Let me just do this real quick. Oh yes. Oh, and you're next. And you're next. Don't burn me like that. Come on. I got you. Haha. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice baby. So, where are we going now? Maybe I should try and kill that uh, vampire to finish the business with the girl. Nah, missed me. Missed me, bitch. Nap, miss me. Okay, you got me there. So, which way was the... It was like... There. There. So, oops, 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 oops. Don't miss anything. So, we're gonna do just that. And don't forget, we need aluminium parts. Yeah, 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 bye, 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 nobody cares, nobody cares, just do your business and leave me the fuck alone, okay? Just do your business and leave me alone. Let's see if we are strong enough. Oh, we have 3000 XP once more, yet again. Wait, what? 
Hey, 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 hey. We meet again, Mr. Kamora. Yes. In a more peaceful situation. Dr. Reed. Still visiting London by night? We must Always. see nocturnal animals, you and I. After your captivity, I thought you'd be more cautious. Breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. May I ask you what you do for a living, Mr. Kimura? I am... I was... a landlord. A wealthy one. And... Not a very kind one, I realized recently. Why this sudden epiphany? Is it because of your near-death experience? I was already feeling nostalgic about Weymouth, my hometown. With recent events, I'm thinking about going back there. Mm. What can you tell me about your abduction? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane mumbling about sacrifice and voices. And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I never heard of such an astronomical term. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. Why are you so nostalgic for your hometown, Tadao? I was focused so much on making money, I almost forgot that my relatives and friends are threatened by this epidemic. Have you heard anything from your family? I was not only a bad landlord, I was also a bad husband. I've not seen my wife and son for years. Wow. Busy, busy, busy. At least now you're ready to go back and see them. But don't be surprised if your son bears a grudge, sir. You make it sound like you suffered from an absent father yourself, Dr. Reed. Well, I'll keep your warning in mind. Have you no friends at all? Over the years, I'm afraid my greed turned me into my friend's adversary, while I became friends with my professional rivals. Those huh. you grew up with didn't share your views on money and success. Would you believe I was once a member of poetry circles and an astronomy club? We were young, such joyful dreamers then. But I stopped laughing long ago. Can you change? And is it what you really want? If so, it must come from within, not without. I've seen what an altruistic gesture can do. Nothing forced you to save me, Dr. Reed, but you did. I will follow your example in these matters from now on. Believe me, Mr. Kimura, I've met a few good Samaritans, but I'm not like them. Not at all. I don't intend to be a saint. I don't think I have the fiber anyway. All I want is to do something good and useful in this world for a change. Oh, come on! Tell me, Tadao. Why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Yes. Astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent many a pleasant evening stargazing. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. Hmm. But children love magic and stories. I remember our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations?
Draco. My favorite constellation. Memory's a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations. Holy shit. Yet I barely remember my own childhood. Did he fake his interest in astronomy to get close to you? No. In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Okay. Let's see if we can take this Marfo. How about that? Level 23. We should be able, right? I mean, psh, psh, psh. come on. Wow. But don't hit the other dude. Ah, damn it! Okay, great. 2v1, great. Awesome. Awesome! Awesome! That's how I like it. I like it when it's hard. Yay! At least, give me a little bit of blood. Yes! Okay. Okay, that works. That works, that works, that works, that works, that works. How about a shotgun to your face? <laughs> wow, that really is something. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Missed me. Okay, you got me there. You got me there. Okay, 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 okay. Chill, chill. Chill, 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 chill. There we go. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, we got this. We got this right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 Fuck 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 Shotgun time shotgun time shotgun time You missed wait Fuck your fucking thing! And I'm gonna die. Can you stop with the. I, 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 I can't do anything. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die right now. Right in this moment. I'm gonna fucking die. In this moment, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. What? I cannot change? Ooh! Why can't I kill you? Come on, one more hit. Yes! Yes! Fuck you! Fuck you! I got only 200 XP from that. That should give me like a thousand. At least. Shit. 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 I had to use everything, my blood, my, my health, everything. And you give me 200 XP? Fuck you, game. 
Fuck you. At least we got it. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Your friend was planning to become a vampire. She thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure? To become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood. I should never have talked to Emily about vampires. I never thought she'd actually try it without me. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Here, take this for your discretion. Wow. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards. She's been quite. Wow. That's that's we are getting a lot of stuff here. A lot. 35 stun. Can we upgrade that? 44. 45. Uh is there I mean I mean let's let's check out let's check out let's check out let's check out what you can upgrade. I wanna see that saber also. So Old letter. So uh huh, I did. I did know. Let me see. If we thirty eight. 38 and 8, that's 60, what? And this is for the stamina. Hmm. 3 stun, that's 6, and we have 35 and 6, 41, that's not good enough. Okay, let's see this. 10%. Two hundred and ten, and that's sixty four. Two hundred and ten, two hundred fifty two. It's gonna be the same amount, right? It's gonna be the fucking same amount. 52 and 64. Oof. 242. If I do this. Two hundred and forty-two. Then if I put it this and fifty-two and that, okay, the A fucking aluminium part. Wait, do I need aluminium part for this one else? No. Sixty-four. Where can I get aluminium parts, huh? Oh, so stamina or absorb blood. And the other one is, uh, the other one is stun. Hey, let's do blood absorption, why not? Where can we get freaking aluminium parts? I have the money. I just need the merchant. 
Maybe from the merchant here? Can we get aluminium parts from here? There should be a merchant around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Don't go anywhere. I have to talk to you. Come on. I need aluminium parts. I need 10 of them because I have to upgrade the... Uh, the... Um, the stun weapon also. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Yeah, 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 yeah. A great night, what? Yeah, yeah, great. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Come on. Four! No, that's a lead plate. What? How can I get aluminium parts? Oh, we can sell those, but I don't want to sell those. Yeah, aluminium part. I need that. Looks like it look looks looks the same. The name is machine it can be used to improve the balance of our medium size. Right, I can get aluminium part. I have to Google it. I, I, I actually I, I, I want to Google it. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Wait. Okay, so I found nothing. Wait, maybe with with time we can get aluminium parts. I want aluminium parts, come on. Give me five. Please. Please give me five. So I can upgrade my saber. And be like, whoosh, whoosh, you're dead. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. That's, 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 that's my goal. That's, that's my goal. Lady Ashbury, what are you doing here? What the hell? Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it her man? Who insisted I join the Ascalon? Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these Oh, And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Okay. Redgrave, where are you? Can I talk to you now? Oh, I can't. Oh. I pursued and killed the last hunter with my own hands as he tried to escape the club. Uh, good for you. Wait, what? Why do I have to go? What? 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 Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. Just a doctor, some questions remain. I did my best. Uh... But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. 
It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. <laughs> did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Mm. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. How? You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Understandably, you have questions. Wait, what? But there was a yellow... Okay. Goodbye. Whatever. Uh, let's reach Temple Church entrance. Okay, let's go. Do you wanna talk to me? Oh yeah, you are one. Right, yeah, yeah, Lord sure. Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I won't do it. The very thought of it makes me sick. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I huh. do, yes. To yeah. make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Yeah, he wants to build a wall. Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Oh! Please. Oh, really? Your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know yeah. he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from yeah. the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit. While you're cold. His soul. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control. Like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, 
who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor souls survive at all. Wow. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. Hmm. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. Okay, so where is the... Where am I? That's... That's not where I have to go. So, should we turn him into a vampire or should we just let him die? We're gonna find out the answer for that in the next freaking video, my dudes. Bye bye.